This is a tool talk. Welcome to college, welcome to computer science, welcome to computer engineering. Let me try to give you some advice. I know you don't like to listen to people my age, but let me just do it anyway. So um, why should you learn how to use the command line? We've been giving you guys some assignments that have had to use the command line. Uh, for a lot of people, this seems to be the first time. Um, and if you're not familiar with it, the command line can seem like a really strange tool. It can seem like something that's old fashioned, outdated, unnecessary, stupid, difficult. Um, confusing, intimidating, whatever. Um, and it is when you're getting started. I totally, I totally, I totally get that. It was for me when I was uh, starting to learn how to program and how to learn how to use a computer. Um, but I still think, even for people your generation, uh, that this is a power tool, uh, that it's something that can be really, really helpful, and that it's something that you should learn how to use. So let me try to make an analogy. I'm not going to sit here and wow you with my prowess at using the command line that I've built up over like longer than that you've been alive. Um, but let me try to draw an analogy between the command line and something else. So a lot of you guys know how to drive. Um, you learn how to drive. And you learn uh, how to drive in a car uh, where the pedals look kind of like this. Okay. Um, so this is a modern automobile. Uh, particularly in the United States, um, it has two pedals. Uh, one makes the car go forward, the other makes it slow down. This is simple. This is a car. The car goes forward, uh, you steer it with the wheel, uh, you slow down with this pedal. And that's how a lot of the cars that you operate today work. And that's the result of sort of technological progress. And so you could make an analogy that this is sort of like the graphical computing environment that you guys have grown up using. You click on stuff, you drag stuff, you drop stuff, you know, whatever. And, and, and you've been using your computer this way for years. And so I get it. I mean, I'm trying to tell you to do something new, and I'm trying to tell you this is great, and it's a little cranky getting started, and it looks weird, and it looks a little old fashioned. So why? OK, why? For a long time, the pedals on car look like this. Some of you may have seen one of these already if you're kind of a gearhead or if you grew up uh, particularly in a country like uh, in, in a country overseas where these are more common. This, these are the pedals for a manual transmission vehicle. There is an extra pedal here. There is a gas pedal, there is a brake, and there is something called a clutch. And the clutch is something that you use to shift gears along with the help of something that looks like this. This is a typical gear shifter. This is a six, uh, six speed transmission. Um, and, you know, originally, at some point in time, every car was like this. So at some point in time, you know, no one had a, you know, a, a graphical user interface. It was all just this command line type thing. And then, you know, progress. And we, you know, we, we, we built these cars. It didn't need clutches anymore. And you just, you know, go forward and, and slow down. So that's awesome. But I'm going to point something out. If you get in a race car, if you get like in a Formula One vehicle or something like that, this is what they look like. They don't drive automatic transmission vehicles. You might drive one to the grocery store. It's fine for getting around town. It's fine for doing stuff like that. But you know, really hardcore drivers, people that are trying to get the most out of their vehicle, um, they they learn how to drive a car like this. It's also super fun, actually. Um, but anyway, so the, my my point is like the, I I think to me the graphical user interface is to the automatic transmission as the command line is to the manual transmission. Um, it's tough to learn. There's a learning curve. Uh, when you're getting started, it can feel uncomfortable. Um, you might make a few mistakes. Now let's keep in mind, you are learning how to use the command line in a virtual box on your own computer. Okay, You are not going to crash that thing into anything. There will be no loss of life that will result if you make mistakes. The worst thing you can do is burn down your virtual box, in which case you can just start over. It's not a problem. So the, the experiment, hopefully the learning curve here is a little faster because you know go fast and break things with the command line. You are not going to do any damage. Do not do that in your car. Go slow as you're learning how to do anything new in a vehicle uh, that's like several tons of moving metal. So anyway, um, I still think, and you know, again, I mean, maybe there's some of you that are wizards with the GUI and things like that, but I still think that the command line has a lot to offer to people who really want to learn how to use their computer in the most powerful and most efficient way possible. I probably do 
I don't know, 50, 60% of what I do at the command line. The other half of it is at a browser, mainly typing and looking things up on the internet. Um, and I, you know, I know a lot of computer scientists and computer engineers and software developers that still fall into this category. Um, and that maybe another analogy is that the, the command line is sort of like the lightsaber, right? It's like this dignified, powerful tool for a forgotten age. Um, but as you learn it and as you learn how to do things at it, you'll discover that you can do an enormous amount with it. Um, fast, efficiently, accurately, um, way more, I think, in certain cases that you can, you, you can do using window -aid environments. So that's my pitch. You know, uh, we'll continue to expose you through, to it throughout the semester. I hope it's not too painful. Um, but you know, when you have some time on your own, give it a try. Try to learn more about how to use it effectively. Um, it will pay off. I will make that promise to you. If I am wrong, come back 10 years, find me, and give me a hard time. But I do not doubt that an investment in learning how to use this tool effectively will pay off in the long run. And you will be very, very happy that you learned how to use the command line.